Hi there, everyone. I thought I'd just send you a, another message of encouragement through the ether, as it were. Um, the last one seemed to be well received, so I thought I'd, I'd give it another go. And I hope you're doing OK and not feeling too stir crazy or anxious or low or lonely during this time of lockdown, as it were. Um, if you are struggling, do be in touch or pick up the phone to a home group member or uh, email help at kidlington-baptist.org.uk and so on. We want to be looking out for one another. So important. And we can avail ourselves of the blessing God gives us in one another. Um, and one of the ways we can encourage each other is through praying for one another and through sharing scripture. And I thought I would share with you a scripture today from Matthew chapter 6 verses 25 and following. It's from the Sermon on the Mount and we looked at it a few months ago. But I thought it was particularly pertinent to today and uh, it would be good to remind ourselves of its promise. Now, um, I remember when I first became conscious of this, um, this story, this passage, um, I was young and my mum read it to me when I was really stressed about something. I can't even remember, I can't even remember what it was, but um, that's telling, isn't it? But I, I do remember the passage. And uh, I fell in love with it then, and I've loved it ever since. And it goes like this. This is from the lips of Jesus, and it's a message for us today. He says, therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink. Or do not worry about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food and the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They don't sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more important and valuable than they? Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the lilies of the field grow. They do not labour or spin. And yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his glory was dressed like one of these. But that is how God clothes the grass of the field which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, O oh, you of little faith? Therefore, do not worry, saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things and your heavenly father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Oh, I just really love these words. And I just feel they bring a message of a feeling of peace. Something about the tone and the tenor of them, let alone the content, breathes peace, peace into my life. I don't know if you've met somebody who's just in a really peaceful mode and uh, you're a bit high strung or nervous about something. And just being with them, their presence communicates this. And I just feel that Jesus' presence uh, through this passage brings a sense of peace. And Jesus gives this wonderful message that actually is, as Christians, we have this baseline security that we're not spiritual orphans, that we don't need to run after all these worldly things like the pagans do. We don't need to bulk buy toilet rolls or stock up on extra freezers, as apparently people are doing, stockpiling food because we think the end of the world is coming. Well, Jesus says, no, we have a heavenly father. And even if the end of the world were coming, it would be OK because we have a heavenly father. And he knows what we need. You know, in our house, we've got a little magnetic fridge pad and you can uh, we write down all the things that we need, shopping lists, um, as they occur to us. And God has a, a kind of a, a pad on his heavenly fridge, as it were, with all our needs listed. And he knows every single one of them. And we can we can trust him that he will provide for us when the time comes. And Jesus says, so don't worry about that. Um, don't run after all that stuff and get feverish and frenetic about it like the pagans do. He says, first, seek the kingdom and his righteousness. Seek to do what is right today. Seek to honour God, to be attentive to his spirit's leading and deal with the blessings and the challenges that today brings. They're like separate. We get separate parcels of, of trouble each day, you know, and God, God in his mercy doesn't send it all in one big bulk order. He doesn't just suddenly land it all on us at once. It comes to us in daily increments and we unwrap the parcel and it's full of blessing. And there are challenges and troubles, but actually with God's help, we can deal with them and uh, we can be faithful and we can do the kingdom thing, the right thing. And Jesus says, focus on today. You know, don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will worry about itself when it gets here. 
Don't worry about what's going to happen in a week from now or a month or a year. Actually focus on today and doing the right thing. So Jesus says that. And he also says to us to contemplate. You know, I was saying this a bit on Sunday. Now, it's so lovely that psychologically speaking, we have good weather at the moment. It's a blessing from God. And we should sit in the garden and just let the sun shine on our faces. And as we do, contemplate the face of God and his blessing. And, and Jesus gives another, another piece of advice here. He says, while you're at it, contemplate the birds and the flowers. Yeah. Look at the birds of the air. They don't sow or reap or store away in barns. They don't bolt, buy toilet rolls or buy extra freezers. And yet they have the food that they need. In fact, you might have a bird feeder in your garden and without realising you've become a, a means by which God provides for these birds. But they don't worry about it. And neither should you. And, and Jesus says, look at the flowers. You know, I, the other day I saw a dandelion it, it, right in the sun and it was so brilliant yellow. It was just gorgeous. And I, and, and I think it's important to stoop and look at the flowers and think, look how beautifully these, these little organisms are, are adorned. And if that's how God provides for the creatures and the organisms and the plants that he has made. How much more will he provide for his children? And so I just want um, to give you that reassurance this morning from the lips of Jesus that you are precious to the Father and he's going to provide for you in the days to come. So you don't need to worry. It will be OK. And, and that reassurance brings with it a baseline level of peace, a peace that wells up within us, a peace beyond understanding that transcends our circumstances. So receive that peace today and perhaps consider how you might be a channel of that peace into the lives of others. God bless you today.